Hello viewers, this is Halla Chaudhuri in front of you. Offline or class nature, that means I'm the class, Srini Kokhe Mode class chose it. It is a basic grammar, spoken English, IELTS preparation, as well as other competitive exam. I'm the class below, it is a Bangladesh IT Institute concerning, that is Excellence Language Learning Hub, actually a concern of Bangladesh IT Institute. Welcome to Excellence Language Learning Hub. So today we'll learn what is right form of verbs, right? Okay. So already we have learned more than 10 or 12 rows of these categories and today we will have some more fantastic, more enjoyable right form of verbs. The first one is would that and the next one is as though or as if, well, and then I wish. And basically we use I wish in a statement actually, right? Okay. And then while while and then we start a last day etc so if we get this type of words in a sentence then there have some special rules to make the right form of verbs for example here i have written while go to school i saw a blind man so keep in mind that when we will see while and uh, there are two clauses here okay so if while plus verb then of course we will use ing with that verb okay i repeat it again when we will get the sentence starting with while then in bracket there is verb then of course we just add ing so here we will write down going to well so here going to so the right form of verbs is while going to school i saw a blind man but keep in mind, whenever we'll see subject after uh, the while, well, like while, manik, in bracket to go, to school, or anywhere else, he saw a blind man, we can write, he saw, well, so here, whenever we get while plus subject, then of course it will be past continuous tense. I repeat it again, when we'll see while then verb then just ing like while going to school i saw a blind man on the other hand when we will get while plus subject then of course we will use that one first continuous tense so i have example while manik was going to school he saw a blind man hope that you understood thank you very much okay so the next one is uh, would that would that in Bangla I can say Judy Amon Hoto. Okay. Uh, so thing is that whenever we will get this one, of course the next clause will be first in different terms. Well, so have a look or for example, would that would that I here be verb child again means would that I could be a child again because it's quite impossible to be a child again, right? Okay. So in Bangla, I'm a Jewish So here we will use could. Okay. Uh, the next one is as though or as if. In Bangla, jam. Well. So in some cases, we just conver make converse conversation with our friends that you are talking like a hero, right? Or you are acting like a hero or your behavior uh, is really marvelous like a hero as if you were a hero or heroine okay so here something uh, something is special but actually not uh, well so what will happen here we have some special uh, rules for that one so if we get any uh, sentences starting with or having this one like as if or as though then in bracket we will have some special criteria. Have a look. Manik speaks as if or as though. Okay, here he, here be verb a king, well, or a president, or a lecturer, or a, a actor. Right? Okay, whatever it is, but actually he is not. Okay, so Manik speaks as if or as though Jano he be a king. So we can use here where. Simply we will use here where. 
if we get be verb well but if we get action verb what will happen okay thing is that manik is uh, speaks as if he go mad well so whenever we get it like uh, action verb well then we have some special criteria like it will be in past tense it's just past tense like go when gone so we will make it went so manik speaks as if or as though he went mad so thing is that something is not actually happened or actually not so if we get be verb then we will use were and if we get action verb then it will be in simple past tense that is went for example manik speaks as though he went mad well or if we get here be verb then just we use were hope that you understood thank you very much well so the next one is i wish well so i wish is something that is a statement i can say if i were a king if i were a king or if i were a singer if i were a actor whatever it is okay so this is the very complementation of exclamatory sentence but today we will use it in statement i wish so if we get i wish starting with in a sentence then i wish i be were a what i can say king or anything else no issue so whenever you get be verb then we will just use were i wish a were okay or i wish i could be a child again that means uh, something uh, we are expecting or dreaming or anything else then we use that one so thank you very much of that you understood this one as you are thank you and the next one is yesterday last day etc so if you get any uh, words of this one especially adverb you know those are adverbs so if you get this indication then of course it will be in simple past tense well so making questions is the main thing of that one because most of the time our students are really in trouble whenever they want to uh, solve that one like yesterday i or he not go not go to school yesterday well so here we get this one yesterday or uh, last week or last month or last year whatever it is we can say but the indication of the adverb is that one and of course it will be added that one okay. so what we will do that is he did not go to school yesterday well so have a look here we use did not right so whenever we use did then of course be one i have already mentioned in my past classes in the previous classes you have already enjoyed that one so whenever we use did of course again another verb will come that is verb present form so he did not go to school if we make it interrogative what will happen okay so if i just get any uh, sentences like that one when your brother in bracket come home yesterday or last week or last week i can say so here last is in simple past right so here in bracket with the, the verb is come well so when we will change it okay or when we will uh, make the correction actually so this is actually interrogative sentence right so first of all we have to take when as this is simple past tense we will use did your brother come home last week well so the changing of the pattern is here actually did well when did when did your brother come home last week so thank you very much for that you understood so each and every case is in uh, right form of verbs we have to uh, make sure that uh, each and every words have some uh, special feature special criteria from their tone we can guess in what types of verbs it will be taken right 
So I just wanna revise that one. Would that or would that means actually to the amount of total? In that case, we have to use past simple tense. Well, the verb in bracket. Well, as do and as it means actually jano. And here I can say, uh, so here if we get be verb in bracket, we will use where. Even we will get action verb, then it will be past simple tense. Okay. I wish simply be verb where and can or anything else, then we will use could. Got while if we get while then there is no subject first in, 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 the, in the first clause then we will use just verb plus ing and if we get while plus subject then it will be simply past continuous tense thank you and of course yesterday last day etc it will be in past simple tense so thank you very much hope that you understood all the items of right form of verbs take care bye bye see you again in the next class thank you very much i hope you understood our lesson so jodi apni cham je amader sathe jog dite tahole amader je address ti ta hocche bangladesh it institute just behind Touch Bangla Bank Limited, Mirpur 10. Our excellence language learning hub is a YouTube channel. If you like it, if you love us, don't forget to subscribe it as well as you just share with your friends, family, and relatives. If you want to communicate with us, our address is in the below description box. So, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.